Good evening, Morgan Geeks. Study here from Summer Games again. Um, it's been a while. <laughs> Keep saying it's been a while every video, but it feels like it has. It hasn't. It's only been a couple of weeks um, since my last videos. Um, stuff's arriving. Stuff's coming through. Uh, Golf game arrived a while ago, and uh, it's been sat in a pile of stuff while I've dealt with life stuff. So we're going to take a quick look and hopefully and get the people around for games. Uh, obviously, we played this during its prototype uh, development, which is awesome. Check the video out. It's fantastic. You can go all the way up there. Shiny rule book, shiny rule book, shiny rule book, shiny rule book. So, I need more elevation for my camera. Hold on, folks. Whoop. That's a bit better. There we go. Right. We've got haunts the vampire turns. Vampire repellent. Slain villains. I'm right in thinking the slain villain, you're not really dead yet. You're a part of the haunt. Yeah, so yeah, sure, sure, sure. It's memory served me, it was a great game and there was loads of stuff that got thrown in on top of it. So when you died, I think this is this is the death now. Yes. So when you died, uh you flipped over one of these and some of them you come back. Um first player to be first player to slay the villain or vampire. To the left wins the game. Okay. Um, there's like quite a few of this. That's awesome. Oh, that's the other one. Carnage. All weapons deal ten damage. So it's instant kill, insta kill weapons. So it was quite a very good uh, approach to have. When you're dead, you caused an effect to the board state. And the game effects. I forgot what the board is humongous. Oh my god, where is it going? <laughs> um, I'll put part of it down. Uh, it extends quite a bit. And I'm glad they kept the artwork very candle lit looking. Um, right, the camera again. Standees. So he's gone with the uh, plastic standees. So we got stands for them, which arrive separately. El Vampire. Um, each one has got their own unique abilities, and traits, and talents. Shiny dice. You know the roll is. The roll them. Get off the bag. Oh, it doesn't count. Oh, it's a good roll. Five, five, four. Don't know what relevance that has to the game, but five, five, four. Uh, I think the standees will replace the ones you get in the box. Um, so a lot of got a lot to process here. The vampire. Let's face it, we're going to lose that. So we have the stranger, the aristocrat, the collector. I think I played as the collector last time. The gentleman, the last, the occultist. Ooh, quite like the look of that one. The professor, the wanderer, and the vampire. So you can't play as the vampire, you've got to become the vampire. I'm not going to open the decks because that's spoilers for what's in each room. Um, with it, oh my lord, there's an expansion which adds six more strangers. Oh crap. To this, oh more cards, oh more Death Knell cards. 
come here. You know these are going to come right in. Secret door, secret door. Oh, look at the silver emboss. Love it. Always more cards as well. Any road, more standees. Which look awesome. Which look awesome. Let's see what we get. We got the butcher, the sister, nice, the countess, oh, the terror, the monk, the vengeful. I think um, what Black Letter Games did on that point with like what additional characters you'd like to see. For real, I think they asked them. Um, all the play testers and that some ideas were not there um so i'm glad like they got everyone's feedback as to what people wanted to see um crikey it's been that long um i know they faced uh, various delays along the way i'm gonna put these in there now um but all in all the components are solid um I'm liking the plastic miniatures. <laughs> I want to say the not meeples, the character miniatures. Um, I know there's a lot of companies going that way. D and D seem to do it. They wanted the two D thin plastic miniature, um, which has been met with. I've seen mixed opinions, but for a game like this, oh no, no, um, it works perfectly. The one you're gonna watch out for is your sneaky players who uh, will turn it sideways on. So if you're not paying attention to the board properly, you're not gonna see where your opponents are. <laughs> if you got can't tell, I play with a few sneaky players. Um, so that's that one. So that, and that. Huge fan. Can't wait to play it. Again. <laughs> In its final form, I can't wait to play this again. I, genuinely. The original is fantastic. I managed to find a copy on eBay. We've given a copy away. Uh, if you've got the original, play it. And if you're getting this one, it's more brutal. Oh, I say it's more brutal. It's more long-winded brutality, whereas the original Gothic game is insta-kill items, whereas this is wounding people until you get really good stuff, and the weapons don't really last forever. They're one shot, so it is quite interesting and fun. Okay, well, I'll catch you in the next one. I've got a few things to review. I think yes. I'm going to try and get as much as I can done this week because we are now in December. Uh, so good luck, everyone. Um, have a good one.